What's up, guys? Brendan from Market Makers. Guys, the Gartley pattern creating all the stir on YouTube. We put this out there as the first movers on YouTube. Market Makers, my friends, come check us out. Our Discord link is in the video description. If you like video tutorials like this, we have a plethora of them in our Discord group. Our Twitter is there as well. Please like and please subscribe to the channel. Help support us, show some love. Really appreciate it, guys. The Gartley pattern. Look at this beautiful pattern, commonly called butterfly wings, bat wings, things like that. This pattern came to be in the mid to early 1930s. It was either 1932 or 35. H.M. Gartley put out his book on page 222 he drew a pattern which commonly became referred to as the Gartley 222 the G triple two many different names okay Scott Carney really made this popular in 2000 2001 when he married the pattern to fibs Gartley did not use fibs Gartley was one of the geniuses of his time. He was good friends with Gan. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of Gan. Gan square of nine, Gan wheel, Gan waves. He was a mathematical genius. Both of them are excellent technical analyst and they did a lot for this field okay the titans of the, the titans of that time are still the titans of today Ralph Nelson Elliott came a few years later, three years after Gartley, developed Elliott wave theory. You're going to see a lot of commonalities when I explain the Gartley pattern to you, okay? And then, of course, you had Wyckoff just before them as well. So, guys, those Titans knew what they were doing, and they did it by pencil and paper. So just, just to understand, we're using computers and indicators to find a lot of things. They did this by hand. Really true geniuses, and I think they should be recognized for it. Um, Scott Carney popularized this. He started writing Harmonic Trading Series in the 2000, 2001. Guys, Harmonic Pattern Trading has only been around for about 20 years in popular form, and it's a lot to do with Scott Carney. Again, he's a true mover in this space. Harmonic Patterns all use Gartley Pattern as the backbone. If you learn Gartley patterns you can learn harmonic pattern trading I also trade cipher patterns and bat patterns okay those are all based off of Gartley's there's crabs sharks all types of patterns you guys can learn all those this one is about the Gartley I'll put other videos out as well for the other patterns but guys let's get into the Gartley pattern my favorite all-time pattern to trade let me show you first what this pattern is okay this is a bullish on the left the bearish is on the right, the bearish is red, the bullish is green. What you have is an impulse leg or an impulse wave, then you followed by an A, a B, and a C correction. Does that sound familiar for anybody that watches Elliott Wavers on YouTube? Again with the bearish, you have an impulse leg or an impulse wave followed by an A, a B, a C correction. So when Gartley came out with this, Elliott Wave Theory came out three years later, okay? What Elliott Wave Theory is, is a Gartley pattern with four more waves on the front of it. Big difference in the application. Gartley did this as a pattern. Ralph Nelson Elliott went to the extreme with it, and he believes it's a theory that can be applied to all walks of life, okay? Economic cycles, fashion cycles, sporting cycles. Anything with a cycle can be explained by Elliott Wave Theory. Elliott Wave Theory is a fantastic forecasting tool. I use it as a tool. I do not believe it is a comprehensive trading system. It is too subjective. Case in point, go find any two guys that do Elliott Wave Theory on YouTube. You'll have one guy that says 200K Bitcoin, another guy that can say 10K Bitcoin using the exact same theory. The beauty of a pattern is it has parameters. If those parameters are not met, the pattern is invalid. It's very binary. So you can make a lot of money with patterns, okay? So let's get into this pattern. Let me show you price flow in the bullish. So price flow in a bullish Gartley pattern does this. These are counter trend patterns. I'll explain what that means in a second. Price goes up from X over to A, down to B, up to C, down to D, right? And then it comes up from here. It comes up. This is counter trend. Why is this counter trend? What does that mean? If you look at the bullish Gartley, what does this look like? For basic candlestick pattern trading, this looks like a double top with a neckline, and if you break the neckline, the price should drop. But again, this is a counter trend pattern married to specific Fibonacci numbers, which is why it's a powerful trend. These are not super common. Sometimes you'll find a couple in a time frame, and other times you won't see any for many, many days or many hours. It just depends. So. The bearish Gartley does much of the same thing. This looks like a double bottom, right? This looks like a W double bottom, which would be very bullish, and price would do that. Again, counter trend pattern. Price goes from X to A, up to B, 
down to C, up to D, and then price starts legging down like this, okay? Counter trend, my friends. So let's, let's get into these. This is where you need a piece of paper and a pen, my friends, if you want to write this down or just watch this portion of the video a couple of times, okay? So you measure X to A to get B. You need your Fibonacci retracement, measure X to A, make it as exact as you can because this is how you make money. Rule number one, B. Point B must touch the 618 on the fib. Point B must touch 618 on the fib. It can go past 618. It cannot touch any other line. So you cannot go to the 786. You can pass 618, but you cannot touch 786. And you must touch 618. Okay? That's the first measurement. Now you take your fib again. And to get C and D, you measure from point A to point B. Simple as that, guys. Point A to point B. This will give you C and D. And I drew that really, really well. So your C point, your C point must come to at least 382. It has to touch 382, and it can go up as high as it needs to as long as it does not touch point A. Okay? So this could come all the way up here as long as it doesn't touch point A before it turns back around. So C point must reach 382 and touch it, can pass 382, cannot touch point A. Okay? Simple enough. Now for your D point, you must get to 27. This is where you must be for the D point. Must be 27. Different people will trade this differently. Some people go down another level. I'm, trying, I'm showing you the actual Gartley pattern. And any changes you make to a Gartley, you need to back test them. This is the actual pattern, okay? So, simple enough. Let's show you. I'm going to show you the uh, bearish Gartley now. It's the same rules, but in reverse, my friends. Let me expand this some so you can see the measurements easier. All right. Bearish Gartley, measure X to A to get B. That's always your first step, X to A to get B. And your B must come to 618, which it does, and it passes it, but it does not touch 786. Therefore, this is a valid B, okay? You, you hit 618, but you don't touch any other lines. And again, you get rid of this, and you need one more fib measurement, guys. A to B to get C and D. So you're measuring A to B. It's going to give you C and D. Now, your C point, you come to 382, right? You have to touch 382, and this comes all the way down to 786. Again, these lines don't matter for the C point as long as you don't come to point A. So this is a valid C point. You hit 382, and you do not touch point A. This is a valid C point. And your D point needs to be at 0.27. Drawing this by hand without measuring it and getting that close is pretty damn good. I've been doing this for 20 years. <laughs> so yeah, that's a valid extended just a little bit, and that's a valid 2.7. There you go. All right, guys, so that's how you actually measure them. That's the rules. You can rewind that and watch that. Now we're going to draw them, okay? I suggest you set up drawing them like this because you need to practice drawing them. If you can't draw them, you can't find them. Trust me, it's so much easier to find these patterns if you know exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for an M and a W, but there's more to it, and you'll see that in the shapes, okay? So let's draw this first. We're going to use colors. We're going to use bullish side on the left. We'll use green, and I put my points here to help me out so I can show you this much quicker, and we can get on to finding these in trend, okay? So here you go. You go B to C. Now your C must be lower than your, than your A, okay? Remember that when you're measuring these, your C has to be lower than your A. Let me change these colors. Keep it consistent. We're going to measure these when we're done. Then your C comes down to D, right? And we're going to measure these. So let's go our A to B to find our C and D. And let's see if they hit. Now, when you guys are doing this, don't have your C and D. Draw it freehand, and you'll be able to do this. And the more times you do it, the closer you're going to get to being right on the money, okay? So your C, as you can see, comes up above 382, which is perfect, does not touch A, therefore it's valid. Same with your D, guys. You have to come down to the 27. And again, just drawing it free freehand, you're going to get very close when you do this a thousand times, trust me. So let's go check out the bearish side. It's going to be the same exact thing, guys. You have this, you have this pattern right here. So you have your X to your A, your B, your A to your B, and now you're drawing your B to your C. And again, the second peak is going to be shallower. 
remember that because when you're looking for these in trend, this helps you recognize it. And I'll show you that when we start doing it in the candlesticks. And again, we're going to go from C to D. Simple as that. Let's check these with a the measurement going from A to B. All right. So your C comes down, does not touch A, and it comes to at least a 382, valid C. Your D needs to come to 27. Again, draw this over and over. A hundred times, you're going to nail these, okay? So this is what it looks like. You have your double top, but the second top is lower. You have your double bottom, but the second top is high, or the, the second bottom is higher than the previous bottom. Okay, so it'll really help you spot these patterns. Okay, so let's go and look at some Bitcoin prices in the one-hour time frame. All right, so just as a quick reference. We're going backwards in time, right? You can draw these predictively, which upsets a lot of people on YouTube when you draw patterns that don't exist yet, but this is how you pattern trade, my friends. So here, you can see what I did here. There's a double top formation. So I went ahead and drew these, okay? You can see this. the second top is lower than the first top. This looks like a really good candidate. But looking back in time, any double top formation, and look how this broke, by the way. It broke down, and then what did it do? It climbed up, didn't it? So this would be another good example to possibly find, and I haven't done this one yet, to possibly find another Gartley pattern. And there are indicators that can help you with this, and some vary in accuracy. I would suggest you measure or you check anything you find in an indicator indicator that tells you you're in a Gartley pattern. You always want to go low to high, right? So I'm going to take the first candle and trend on a pump and I'm going to bring it to the high. This is how I'm going to validate if this is a Gartley. So it's a low to a high. Now we're going to go high to a low. Okay, so here's your low. And now we're going to go back up from low to high. And where's the high? Right about there. And let's take this. And, you know, this is the predictive part, okay? Because if, if you were trading this live and you didn't have this the C retracement printed yet, this is what I did currently, and I'll show you that predictive move I did. So if you're looking at this, you're like, wow, this looks like a Gartley forming. What you would do is you would draw your D. You would ahead of time draw your D because this would be your optimum entry point, which I don't know where that is because I didn't measure it, right? So I'm just going to draw it. I'm going to say it's right here. Just guessing, guys. Let's say it's right here. So you have your X to A, your A to B, your B to C, your C to D. And this is why you draw them predictively. This is what people do not understand about pattern trading. You need to have your pattern drawn out when you see it forming because that's going to tell you where you can enter the trade. So now let's check this, guys. Let's check both of these really quickly. We'll do our X to our A measurement, and that gives us the B, right? X to A gives us the B. So here's your B. Your B comes to 618. So it comes to 618. It does not touch 786. This is a valid B. So that's that part is good. Now we're going to measure A to B to get C and D. And let's see how well I nailed this. A to B to get C and D. So your C comes up past 382. Really close to this, right? But this is still higher, I believe. We can we can check it, but this is still higher. So it's really close to A. And then your D, your 2.7 would be down here. So you would right there on that low, boom, you have your entrance point to this trade, okay? Now you can find one of these coin one of the bars right here, but you have your entrance point to the trade. And there you go. And look what you look at the move you could have got off of this Gartley. Okay. Now let's look at this real quick. Is this higher? So we have the high here at 46.8 and the high here at 46.780. <laughs> you, you made it by 20 points, but still the A is higher. This is a valid Gartley pattern, okay? So again, you would have drawn this C retracement based off the current pattern of your A and B. This is why you predictively would have drawn this because you would have entered the trade here and you could say, well, Brendan, 
the price dipped down lower so that's not the optimum entry point true but this is why you have stop losses so the way you set a stop loss on a Gartley is your X point this point over here you can use a couple different methods you can use two times your ATR whatever your ATR is you could do two times you could also just pick a number below the X that you're comfortable with you could leave it at X if that's how you want to do it traders will vary in their style I use two I use a two times multiple of the ATR whatever the ATR is is what I would use for my Gartley stop loss okay and if I have ATR on here I do I could tell you exactly what that number would be right here uh, I need this turned on so I can see my number so this would have been just about 507 times 2 would have been a thousand okay my stop loss for this is Bitcoin guys my stop loss would have been a thousand so I would have had a thousand here for an SL this would not have triggered the stop loss and you would have caught all this profit now the way you catch this profit by the way let me show you that real quick while we're here the way you catch this profit is simple I showed you how to measure a Gartley right I gotta show you the two best parts this is the first best part then you take points a okay this is your a all the way to D you take your A to D okay this is how you measure it this is how you set your targets for price you take A to D and where most traders do coming from Forex this is how a lot of people do it your 382 that's one target you take that's a profit target okay so you capture all this profit right here you capture the 618 which is right here just above it and again the mother load is the 1618 which is right here and if you look at that you would literally would have caught it on the peak of this price right here literally on the peak that's pretty incredible you would have caught that so you would have had all three price targets based off this Gartley pattern okay that's actually really incredible and when you look at this let's back this up the best part about a Gartley my favorite part by the way guys <laughs> Let me see if I can find it here. Triangle. Go to triangle and color your Gartley in. This isn't necessary, but you see everybody do it because this makes them look really cool. Two triangles is what a Gartley is. And just do your points. And you can color this green since they are bullish. I was mapping out bearish Gartleys. That's why it's bearish. And that's how you get that pattern that you see so many people have, okay? Now, one more. We'll do one more real quick because I already have this drawn. So we just need to measure it to make sure it's valid. So again, we're going to measure this. X to A to get B. X to A. There's your B. It just touches 618, goes past it, so that's valid. And now we're going to measure A to B to get our C and D. A to B, try to keep it exact as I can without having to zoom in. A to B gives you your C, which does not come up to A, and it passes 382, so that's good, and it, pass, it doesn't touch A, so that's perfect. And then your entrance needs to be down here, as you guys can see, because it needs to come to the 27. So you'd enter down there, and again, you would have drawn that predictively if you're Gartley hunting and you're looking for patterns to trade, okay? Now look at this. You entered here, and price again went down some, okay? But your X is over here, so this is okay. You wouldn't even come near your stop loss, but again, I would use a 2X, a 2, a 2X multiple on the ATR, and your stop loss would have been down here somewhere. This never would have came close. So now that we know that that's, that's a valid Gartley as well, let's measure a to d and let's get our price targets a to d let me pull this in so you can actually see the price targets all right a to d now i told you 382 oops where is my brush all right so i told you 382 is one profit level right here 618 is a profit level right here, and your 1618, zoom down, ah, look at that, right up, literally on the peak again, you got all three profit targets off of these two Gartleys, okay, pattern trading with Gartleys, my friend, is extremely powerful, you can make a lot of money with your Gartleys, and once you learn to trade them, once you learn to spot them, after you draw them many, many times, you can do things like this. You can make really big Gartleys. This is a predictive Gartley move that upset everybody on YouTube because, again, we have our X to A, our A to B, 
and our B to C and our C to D, okay? So we have our first retracement completed. We're working on the B retracement. And with this pattern comes down here and comes back up, we know we're in a Gartley. And again, this is a pattern that's a bearish Gartley that's going to dump. This is a predictive macro Gartley. And you can draw these simply by doing this with your trend lines, okay? So you see this? I drew this, these are all measured out by FIB, and this is how I figured out the pathway of price, and we'll see if it adheres to it. This is your double bottom, which is not actually a double bottom, and this is the Gartley pattern, my friends. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's long. Please show your support by liking the video and subscribing. Again, consider checking out our Discord. More than 2,000 people have joined in the last two months. Lots of videos like this there, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this helps you in your journey in harmonic pattern trading.